Good evening, and thanks for letting me join you. I uh, would like to read from the book of Proverbs and focus on chapter 18 and verse 1. That proverb reads, The one who lives alone is self-indulgent, showing contempt for all who have sound judgment. When you think about a wise person, I think one of the images that often comes to mind is uh, the solitary person, the, the monk who lives by himself or herself, uh, the one who isolates away from the, the troubles and trials of the world and lives in isolation and there uh, somehow finds enlightenment. Uh, though certainly times of silence and isolation are important in our spiritual lives, in our growth as uh, individuals, I think it's important to remember that we were also designed to live in community. Here this proverb reminds us the one who lives in isolation uh, is self-indulgent. Avoiding the problems of life is uh, a luxury. And void avoiding um, entanglements and uh, the rough edges of relationships. Uh, this is comes from a sense of selfishness rather than wisdom. Uh, in the beginning, when God created uh, uh, Adam, God said it's not good for the man to be alone and created a helpmate. Uh, in my time of ministry, I've encountered so many folks who have a kind of a loner sense to their spirituality. They have their prayer life. They have their relationship with God. They don't need anybody else. Uh, this is part of why God gave us the church, as imperfect as she is. Many times uh, we as a as church, we don't uh, quite understand how to apply the idea that uh, we are a part of God's kingdom, but still as a living community, there is wisdom to be found. As we uh, interact with one another, we develop relationships with one another, wisdom can be found there as well. Let us not give hope, give up hope on the importance of the communities that God has given to us. Please join together with me in prayer. Father, we give you thanks for the networks of communities, families, friendships, a community that is uh, the church, the living expression of your Son, Jesus Christ, here on earth. Let us never take it for granted. Let us always use, wis use wisdom and discernment and, and not let these communities be echo chambers for our own whims. May we grow in wisdom as we work through the uh, difficulties of forgiveness and graciousness in our relationships. May we drink deeply of the wisdom that we can find there, and the voices and the examples of others. We pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Have a good evening.